Hey, what's up guys? Let's do challenge brawl revelator two man with uh, soul bad guy and Angelica as the uh, healer slash tank with two fathers So you can definitely do this. I've done it with DN as well. It's not as cons uh, consistent because uh, I mean her healing output is not as high as uh, where is the team at? Alright. Yeah, her healing output, of course, is not as high as Angelica. And, uh, well, you'll see it in action here. You could do this with... Uh, I mean... Yeah, you could definitely do this with other, other healers. Uh, Ice is stronger because Biken will uh, be attacking Ice heroes most of the time. And uh, as your uh, tank and healer, it works best. You could do it though with uh, Tamarine. Mascot Hazel could be doable. I have not tested her, but uh, she has pretty good healing output. Of course, if you add uh, Rod of uh, Amaryllis, it's gonna help a lot. So here, uh, passive, I'll do multiple runs, but uh, dispel all buff. Uh, of one random enemy at the beginning of the caster's turn and this other passive is uh, Combat readiness increase By 20% at the end of the enemy's turn Combat readiness increase by 30% of the caster's health is less than 50% So Biken gets a lot of turns because of this thing so uh, Yeah, I mean It's uh it's allowing her to just go a bunch of times and uh, you just gotta tank the damage and you, it's better if of course your uh, your ice uh, tanker is uh, taking most of the damage but soul as a five star as fire uh, he is at elemental advantage so biken has 50 percent chance of uh, missing her attack and when she misses she cannot crit she cannot land a debuff she cannot uh, she only deals 75 percent damage it cannot land as a crushing hit as well. And quickly here, grant stack roll, increase attack, defense, and speed at the start of the caster's turn. Uh, this effect can only be available activated once in every three turns. So the longer you take, the the more dangerous this soul boss uh, becomes. Dispels all debuff after being attacked five times before granting the caster an extra turn and increase attack for one turn so he's gonna get like buffs but your uh, your soul will be able to uh, take them off and it's gonna be all good effect resistance is uh, 50 percent you can use uh, poison here but i mean since we're getting soul bad guy really it's uh he's perfect for this and uh you could try different healers in the front line and uh, yeah you, you might uh, you might just be able to do it with much uh, lesser gear I'm definitely uh, uh, with pretty good gear for this like you could do it with lower CP and all that that's cool I got the drop and now I have one that's gonna be maxed out I can run this again with these this team composition I don't know if I want to show you guys DN I mean she's limited and all that uh, I know she's not going to be uh, as consistent as Angelica, so I don't know, I don't think I need to show her here. Attacks the enemy with 50% chance each to inflict two bleeding effects for two turns, activates the same attack again afterward. Yeah, that's why, like, it's pretty crazy. Um, if you start getting a bunch of bleeds, you, uh, you're, like, as soon as they pop, every time you're going to go, it's, it's going to hurt. So if you are unlucky, you could get these bleeds to uh, stack. But as fire, you're at ad advantage, and they are at disadvantage against Biken, so uh, much harder to land those uh, those uh, bleeding effects. Attack the enemy with 75% chance each to inflict three bleeding effects for three turns. Activates uh, Garvo Tensai if the number of uh, bleed effect inflicted on the target is four or more. Uh, which is okay it's this and if you have four bleeds this is gonna trigger attack the enemy detonating all bleeding effects 
It's gonna stay up. Inflict it on the target. Increase speed and attack of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt by detonation is proportional to the number of inflicted bleeding effects and number of turns left when detonating. The target in instantly receives damage. So it's it's like Biken, but stronger because uh, you're she, she's gonna get speed and attack buff for uh, two turns, but Soul can just remove them or apply enable to debuff debuff and you'll be good. But the problem with enable to debuff debuff is that uh, Biken is just gaining turns like crazy. Also, uh, this thing will trigger if uh, the cooldown reaches like, if it's ready, she's gonna use it. But she's also gonna use it uh, instantly, even if it's on cooldown, if she attacks someone with uh, skill 2, uh, a target that has 4 bleeding effects. So be mindful of that. Counter attacks and silence for one turn, dispelling all buffs and decreasing their combat units by 100% when then you use a non-attack skill. This effect can only be activated once per turn. So another thing here is that when you go with fire as using, you use soul and your healer is ice, not only you are baiting uh, uh, Biken on the first uh, wave, uh, but also you are at elemental advantage as ice versus soul as fire and if you use uh, like you're gonna use a, an ice healer so this uh, silence the dispelling the combat readiness reduction uh, all these things uh, will have a much higher chance to be uh, uh, resisted because you're gonna if if he miss it's a f it's over he cannot land these things so that's why it's uh, extremely effective Text an enemy with a pillar of fire, 75% chance to stun for one turn, inflict critical hit if the enemy isn't buffed. So, another thing here, uh, stun, another thing that's nice to uh, resist, and also, oh nice, uh, and it inflicts a critical hit if the enemy is not buffed. So by using Angelica, you gotta keep going with the grinding here, these drop rates are amazing. Let's go baby. So yeah, you're baiting with your ice uh, healer, your soul weaver, and uh, Biken is just, well, in this scenario, I have multiple, uh, I have two fathers as well, which are getting killed on wave one or wave two. Uh, so they are baiting some of the attack, I guess. This thing here says that, you, you see like, it's gonna activate if, even if it's on cooldown, it's just gonna activate it. But uh, let's see, I, I believe that it doesn't even get to that point. She doesn't even use it, she just dies before. I'll show my gear at the end of the video. Uh, pretty sure both uh, of their effect resistance at 50%. But yeah, and also, uh, when you're at elemental advantage, so uh, your, your soul uh, bad guy, you only need uh, 50, um, 85 percent crit chance because you get 15 percent crit chance for free. It's like a bonus when you are at elemental advantage. But it, let's say you have 85 percent crit chance, it's not gonna work for uh, when you fight the second boss, soul bad guy. So uh, yeah, you you have some chances to just um, um, not land a critical hit against him. But in my uh, for me, I have 84% crit chance or 85% crit chance on my uh, soul, so yeah, it's pretty much always a critical hit. Uh, for gearing your soul weaver, I would say uh, speed. Speed is definitely good because uh, speed boots, uh, I have them on, on speed set, uh, all of them, because I farm wyvern. Uh, now Wy Wyvern 11, I can 3-man it with the Angelica, Alexa, and Tarna Guard. And I just bring a father along. Unless I'm like trying to speedrun the thing as fast as possible because we have a 2-hour uh, gold buff of 30, uh, 30%. Then in that case, I'll just 4-man it and not think about bringing an ad, just run the thing as quick as possible. It's 50% effect resistance as well here. 
Also attacks with a strong punch. That's the thing he's doing now. It hit for nothing. Dispelling all buff before making them unable to be buffed for three turns. Grants the caster skill nullifier, neg uh, neg negating damage received from the next skill attack. Damage dealt increased proportional to the enemy's max health. Yeah, I mean, we we don't have that much health. It's not like uh, like a boss like Wyvern with uh, almost 140,000 health. Like your healer is gonna have between uh, maybe you have 10,000, maybe I got like around 15, maybe you got around 20,000. But uh, my Angelica is at 17,000 something with speed boots. So really, like you see, like he's not landing critical hits. He probably doesn't even have high crit chance. Uh, usually, most monsters don't really have a high crit chance. Uh, and uh, yeah, Stone Yellow Fire is. Uh, he, he just neglects. Uh, negates damage. Uh, for From one attack, it could be from your Soul Weaver or whatever. Oh no, the drop rates, they're not as good now. But you can see the total damage dealt. It's. Uh, I mean, it's quite a bit of health that they have. So I guess that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna show my gear here. And uh, talking about the artifact, you definitely should get at least one uh, fully limit broken. I'm gonna show you here, here real quick. So this one needs one more. Boom, and it's gonna be, I can bring it. The max enhance is 30 now. But what I'm planning to do is to max out between two or three. So you need, with six copies, you can ha you can make one uh, fully limit broken. And uh, so yeah, you, you go for six, you go for 18, you go for 24, depending on how many you want. I'm not sure yet. I need, I really need like two. Um, I, I read something on Reddit that uh, it looks like this artifact maxed out beats uh, like the other artifacts let me show you even Eliha's knife you need like the target to have so much uh, defense for Eliha's knife to be uh, superior and uh, and in most cases I mean you, the target will not have that amount of defense so it's a if you check it fully maxed out here oh wait it's at the bottom because it's for all classes or is it oh wait it's a four star what am i doing there it is so yes 20 percent uh, increased damage dealt by 20 percent if the enemy's health is more than 50 percent <clears throat> so this is huge mostly for pvp but i mean even for pve you could use it that's the thing but for pv i would say if the target has a bunch of health you should go with daydream joker high crit chance uh high crit damage uh, as much speed as possible and apply defense down on the target to really maximize this uh, Dream Joker damage that scales off of the target's max health. But uh, in PvP, let's say you're cleaving, you have you, you, de you deal area damage, or even if you use, uh, let's say, two single target damage dealers, like I use Sid Kisei with a combat readiness booster and attack buffer, uh, things like that, uh, even in those scenarios, uh, Portrait of the Savior is gonna be extremely powerful because it's a direct upgrade to uh, Exorcist Tonfa, which is only 16%, <clears throat> and you need to actually get the copies. Like, <clears throat> you might it might take you a long time. Let's say you want two fully maxed out, it's gonna take you a bunch of uh, 12 Exorcist Tonfa, and you might not even have that yet. If you want three, the, that that's even more. Like, uh, it depends on your luck when you summon. But this artifact, you can just have it right away it's gonna cost you a lot of energy to farm but might as well bring fathers along so you can build some experience uh on those as well but it they are saying that uh um yeah hell cutter is is very easy to beat as long as you have enough crit chance the attack increase is very little not only that but this artifact you have to think about it you can use this artifact on any hero that's huge and uh, where is it at? <clears throat> like for example, this I was using this on my Celestial Mercedes, and uh, you need to land debuffs for this thing to actually work. 
and uh, it's a 30% multiplier but you need a debuff on the target if you don't bring someone to remove uh, debuffs uh, you won't be able to uh, land whatever debuff you want to land most in most cases, it's a defense down debuff and even then you have to go through the uh, resist check you might get resisted uh, your effectiveness might not be high enough they might have too much effect uh, resistance or there's always 15% chance of missing that you cannot counter um, like let's say in PvE it's 70% effect resistance that the target target has you can only have 55% effectiveness more than that it's not gonna do anything but in PvP let's say they have uh, 115 effect resistance you're gonna need a hundred percent effectiveness all these things like that's uh, it's a big uh, difference uh, between 55 and then a hundred percent so yeah anyways uh, it's always gonna deal the damage that's the beauty of it it's always gonna deal the damage as long as they are above 50% health but if let's say they have 50% or like 55% uh, your skill hits like 20 times it doesn't matter it's gonna work even if their their health is getting chunked down slowly it doesn't matter how your skill how many hits it does and all that as long as they had um, is it more does it say so I guess more. So it ha it's 51% plus it has to be. And uh, I I'm not quite sure what, what other artifact. Like Els Fist. Els Fist is... Uh, like, I mean, if you go turn one with a combat rune as a uh, booster, this will be useless. This will be useless. You put this on a hero... Like you could build a bruiser, uh, a damage dealer that has enough survival stats to uh, survive like... Uh, uh, the initial burst on turn one from the enemy team and then you could like come back from this like your bruiser is gonna attack uh, its speed's gonna go up they, they might cut in they might nuke on one of their damage dealer maybe it's potentially the damage dealer on the enemy team that didn't go yet or something like that things like this can happen it happened to me and it's uh, really dangerous like on a luna like she pops s3 and just destroys one of your damage dealer uh, well your squishy target anyways this is not guaranteed as soon as if you win turn one it's it's not guaranteed so uh, that's why this portrait of the savior it's kind of boring in the fact that it's exactly like exorcist tonfa it actually has a, a bit less attack you can see max enhanced stat on the uh, left side it's uh, 195 attack 468 health it is much more health it's like double the health of tonfa so 195 Yeah, you can see, uh, I mean, who cares? 13 attack, doesn't matter because you have 4% damage increase. You're doing 4% more damage than this artifact. It's definitely stronger than that uh, small attack uh, difference. And the health is uh, way more than double. So, well, it's, it's more than double. So, uh, yeah, let me show the gear finally. Oh my God, sorry. If you were looking for the gear, sorry about that. I had to talk about the artifact. I mean, that, that's the whole point of farming this place. And maybe some of you are not convinced that it's uh, worth getting. Uh, I mean, I, I tell you, it, it is definitely worth getting at least six to make one uh, fully a limit broken. Uh, so yeah, skill ups. There is none on Soul and on Angelica. It's, uh, it's a plus four and plus four. I mean, you don't need all that. I was doing it with DN, I'll show you my DN stat as well. It's just not as consistent, but even if you fail your runs, uh, it's all good. You can just repeat and you don't even lose your the energy if you fail the run. I mean, maybe your, your stats, they're not good enough. Maybe you can't even do it. Your success rate is very, very low or you just cannot pull through. Just... Um, just three man it and bring one father it's not the end of the world <clears throat> just showcasing my setup and uh, talking about the artifact talking about the fight mechanics and that's pretty much it so yeah mascot hazel i would have shown you guys if she was six star that's the thing her gear is not where i want it to be and uh yeah five star and uh, it wouldn't work i mean maybe i could do it i mean the success rate would be low uh, but yeah, I guess I should have tried it before. I could, I could have used this Tina as well. I didn't try with her, but she definitely can tank this. 
The issue is that she doesn't have speed boots, so maybe she's not fast enough to keep Saul alive. But uh, Baikan would be attacking her over Saul because uh, he's at disadvantage, she's at disadvantage against Saul. And also, uh, the second fight against Saul, uh, he's at advantage against Destina, so he would be attacking Destina more often. The issue is that uh, there's the whole thing with uh, if you don't have a buff, uh, he's gonna be, uh, what was it? He's gonna deal more damage. I mean, normal soul deals more damage, but also, uh, yeah, I, co I forgot about what it was. But you would need to run Wondrous Potion Vial. It's gonna help you with the bleeding. And this thing is on very high cooldown, so that's gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be uh, available quite often. So you could also just use uh, Prophetic Candlestick so you can, you can get your skills cooldown uh, reduced uh, and especially with Biken attacking often and even Soul. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be good. The thing is, even if she gets silenced, she can always heal with that. So it's all good. Uh, I believe the Sina would be able to do it. Should have tried it though, should have tried it. But yeah. You guys can let us know in the comment section who you tried it with, what kind of stats you were running. But uh, I mean, this challenge, the damage output of these uh, these two bosses in there, it's uh, it's nothing crazy to be honest. So you you should be able to uh, to farm that uh, quite easily. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one as well as Akatis. Akatis is very strong. I have her on my second account, and that attack down debuff cuts the uh, their damage in half. Uh, so very very effective also her skill 3 removes debuffs and then heals and she's got uh, immortality um, from skill 2 plus heal you could use uh, prophetic candlestick you could use uh, wondrous potion vial to clear debuffs uh, there's multiple uh, different artifacts you could uh, be wearing but uh, yeah anyways that's it for this one guys thanks for watching I'm Astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos, they should be on the screen now. Playlist for Arena, Guild Wars, uh, Guides, Tips and How-Tos, and Abyss Force 62 Plus if you're struggling in there. Check those out, a lot of uh, good information. And also, uh, I've got uh, Solid Gold Guide, it's going to be a series, only part one is out. But if you, haven't, if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. Uh, I'm free to play, I have a bunch of gold, and uh, just follow my tips. If you're having issues with gold, it's going to definitely uh, help you. And uh, yeah, a bunch of good guides there. Just check it out and I'll be making more very soon. All right, peace out for now.